everyone, my name is Ruby Valentim and welcome to another knife core review. Today we're going to be looking at the knife core R40, which is their new R series rechargeable series. Um, so let's take a look. Okay, so included in the box we have obviously the R40 flashlight. You have your AC adapter for your wall mount cradle or your desktop cradle. You've got your wall mount cradle, some rubber feet on there, obviously for non-slip. It's obviously a, a switch as soon as you put the flashlight into the cradle, it starts charging. Your desktop cradle, also plastic. Uh, would have been nice to have this anodized aluminium, but obviously, we'll obviously, push up costs. Also, non slip feet on it. And I see there's also like a little switch in there. You get your lanyard, uh, some spare o rings, and then an end cap cover. 12 volt cigarette lighter charger the holster this can be folded over whatever then put your belt through here let's just see how this fits in here that's a snug fit This flap could have actually been a bit longer. It's a bit short. Obviously your warranty card. And then your owner's manual. One, one thing I've noticed about these owner's manuals is if they could make it small like this and have actually increase the writing size, I think some people might struggle to actually read this. Um, Okay, and the flashlight itself. Perfect tail, tail standing. Almost cylindrical finish. Hasn't got any a tactical ring like you find on the MH27. Has some knurling on the back in the mid. Uh, anti roll, I think, will be a problem. Although the buttons, although it's slightly raised, it might stop it, but not actually. So yeah, I wouldn't advise putting it down. So looking at the R40 in comparison in size to let's say MH27, length is about the same, and the R25, it's slightly bigger. And also comparing the battery sizes, let's see we have the normal 18650 and then uh, the 18DW compared to the R40's special battery it's quite much bigger you'll also notice that on the battery itself you have the positive and negative terminals on either side of the battery the battery itself also comes with uh, overcharge and discharge circuitry protection built in as well So the R40 was initially designed for uh, search and rescue and outdoor activities. Uh, I see this more of a flashlight being used like for security companies uh, where you have security guards walking around premises keeping an eye on the perimeter like that. Okay, looking at the functionality, you have two switches on the body of the flashlight. One will be your normal on and off with the other one. You also have a quick way to get to your strobe on the mode button, just double tap and you'll get to strobe, just press once to switch it off again, double tap, strobe, switch off. So here's your one lumen which will last you approximately a thousand hours and uh, then you go to 
50 lumens which will give you 32 hours 200 lumens which will give you 10 and a half hours uh, 420 lumens which will give you four and a half hours of runtime and your turbo mode of a thousand which will give you an hour and a half of runtime when inserting the battery for the first time you will notice that the on off switch these buttons here will start flashing blue to indicate how much battery uh, voltage you got left in your battery and also while the flashlight is off just press the mode button just press it like that you should be able to see it and I'll start flashing one two three four so I've got four volts left in this battery and the body is made of aerograde aluminium with mineral glass lens and you have your your lanyard loop connection here you can put on here here's the best thing about the R40 don't ever struggle with cables you need to dig around with your mess that you got inside your drawer something with your cables just docking stations plugged in and just starts charging automatically so when you want to charge no matter which cradle you're using either the desktop or the wall mount cradle that's the wrong one just plonk it on there and it'll immediately start charging you'll see that the switches are pulsing blue that means it's charging once it's fully charged it'll light up solid and you know it's fully charged so taking into the wall charger if you guys ever seen the R25 remember you had to connect these two terminal points and make sure they matched like that then you know it's connected so no need for the R40 you just slot it in there and you'll see it'll start charging straight away and you can see it's pulsing and again once it's fully charged it'll light up solid so with R40 you'll get three methods of charging you'll obviously get the wall mount induction charging cradle you'll get your desktop charging cradle as well as the R40 can also be charged via USB now one thing I did notice on the package that I received there's no USB cable uh, included uh, this is obviously to cut down costs uh, and if you're anything like me I've got hundreds of USB cables lying around so it shouldn't be a problem it also has Nightcore's tech built into it just like on some other similar flashlights uh, your TST your thermal separation technology which is the, the tech built into the board that the LED sits on so once the LED starts uh, getting hot it, it sends out the the heat rapidly from the board to the actual casing of the flashlight to keep it um, the temperature under control and obviously make the LED last longer uh, it also has ATR uh, built in advanced temperature temperature regulation which as you guys know as soon as the flashlight starts overheating it'll send all the, the heat to the to the casing uh, to keep the heat under control and obviously um, regulates the output to the LED accordingly. So in comparison with the MH27 which I always take out with me while going out on patrols um, I like to hold my MH27 between my fingers with my thumb on the power switch which gives me quite good control and mobility with a flashlight um, and although the R40 doesn't come with a tactical ring so you can't really do that so it's a, it's a bit bulky but that's why I recommended it for security guards and farmers uh, search and rescue out in field another thing you'll notice on the R40 it has a slightly deeper optics this is what gives it its 520 meters throw at a thousand lumens uh, which if I compare it to the MH27 although the heads are 40 mils the same you'll see that the, the optics are slightly deeper and you will you will notice if you're comparing to the MH27 which is also a thousand watts a thousand lumens um, you'll notice a difference in the throw length that you'll get from the R40 overall I'm very impressed with the R40 and all the technology built into it um, the only gripes I have uh, is the hasn't got an anti-roll feature as you can see and I'm 
almost positive if somebody had to wear thick gloves in the middle of winter or something. The buttons um, are slightly small, so they'll obviously struggle to find the power and the mode switch. I know I do right now, uh, if I'm at patrolling at night, I also struggle to find the switches in a hurry. Uh, the fact that you've got uh, three ways of charging uh, your desktop cradle and your wall mount cradle as well as the USB uh, capability. It's awesome if you're out in the, in the bush camping, uh, you can power off USB from uh, a solar charger or power bank. Um, and yeah, uh, great tail standing capability, uh, it won't fall over very easily. So with all that being said, let's take this bad boy outside and see some beam shots. Okay, so R41 lumen, 50 lumens, 200 lumens, 420, and 1000. So it's a pretty decent throw with a big spread. Okay, for special mode, hold down and press the mode button, gives you a strobe. Hold down and press the mode button again, gives you a beacon. And hold down and press again, gives you SOS. And then just click, takes you to the normal mode. 150, 200, 420, 1000, switch off, double tap mode to enter strobe mode, and then press the mode button again to exit. And that is my review on the R40. Thank you very much for watching, and if you'd like to leave a comment, please leave a comment down below. And for any further details for availability in South Africa, you can visit nightcoresa.co.za. They have a Facebook page, an online store. And yeah, we'll catch you next time.